This is Murphy, my dog, and we're going to do a video with him today. We're going outside. I trained him to guide me so he knows a few words like go to the elevator, go to the door. And some other ones like go to the apartment and more. Okay. And he knows I make him wait to go in the elevator until I make it sure it's clear that nobody's going to get off. Because I don't want him to get on while people are trying to get off. Because he's done that before. Come on, Murphy, go to the door. Good boy. Okay, go to the other door. Good boy. Okay, come on. Let's go where you go potty. Come on. Let's go where you go potty. No, that's not where you go potty. Come on. Let's, work. Let's go where you go potty. You know where you go potty. Come on. Let's go. Good boy. And he finds a spot where he goes potty. And he goes potty. Like a good boy. And right now I am having a cigarette and he's just standing there. I wanted to give a couple pieces of advice for when you're smoking a rolly, because that's what I'm smoking. What I would do is I would stick one finger slightly in front of the other. I do the top finger usually. And then I bring it back. 
because then I know I usually have one or two more puffs. <sighs> Once that finger gets warm, and then I usually head towards where I'm gonna put it out. Okay, now here's where I give Murphy a command. Murphy, go to the door. And then he goes straight for a bit. Okay, go to the door. And he goes to the door. Come on, go to the door. Good boy. Okay, let's go to the key thing. And he goes to the other door, right by the key thing. Okay. So we can go. Okay, go to the elevator, Murphy. Go to the elevator. Good boy. And then I press the button that we need. And then I shorten his leash. Come here, Murphy. Let's wait and see if anybody gets off. Okay, it looks clear, so let's go in. Okay, then I'll hit my floor and the door close. And once we get back in the elevator, I'll make his leash longer. And as we go up, We'll both go by the door, and then once it gets to our floor, we'll wait for the doors to open. Okay, Murphy, wait. Okay, good boy. I tell him to wait, because otherwise he'll go out before the door is wide enough for me. And then he just goes right to our apartment because he knows where we live. And then, I grab the key to our apartment. Let us in. Okay, Murphy, come here. Let's take your leash off. Good boy. And I reach down, unleash him. Okay, here, free. Good boy. And then I usually take this purse or my fanny pack with me lately. Because I've been rewarding him for good behavior. Because um, he hasn't been pulling. And he's been doing what I, I ask of him. Okay, now the view's back on me. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my jacket off. Okay, my jacket's off. And I'm going to hang it up. And since it's a heavier jacket, I'm not going to use a flimsy plastic hanger, I'm going to use a thicker hanger because I don't want the plastic hanger to break because I've already broken one plastic hanger hanging this thing up so we're going to use a wooden hanger, there we go 
Next, we're gonna hang up the keys. Here's my key ring, or my lanyard. And we're gonna hang it right here. Oh, we, we lost a cane. So we're gonna bend down and pick that up. And we're gonna hang that back up. And then we're gonna hang our keys on the same key ring as our, uh, or the same hook as our canes. And then on the other hook, we have our um, um, fabric bags. And then, so I don't trip, I'm going to kick that cane out of the way. Okay. And then I am back. I made coffee, so we need to put the cream away, and we need to grab something to drink. Um, we're going to have a pop, I think. And we're going to grab today's pills, so I can take my morning meds. Okay. And we are going to put you guys on our stand because we're going to do a couple things here. First thing we're going to do. Let me see what time it is. Is we're going to take our morning meds. Okay. Okay, those are taken, so we can set that down there. Now, I don't think I've brushed my hair today, so we are gonna attempt to brush our hair today and put it in a braid. I think this bun is from yesterday. So we took out one hair tie and we're putting it here. And then we're just gonna unravel the braid bun. And we're gonna take out the other hair tie, like so, okay. Now, we're gonna 
grab our hair. Yeah, it's kind of snarly, so I think this was from yesterday. Okay, now as you can see, my hair is brushed out and it's quite long. So now, we're gonna brush our hair back. Okay, and then we're gonna start brushing it up into a high ponytail. Okay, we got the high ponytail, so now we just have to put a hair tie in it. Okay. Tighten it, okay. Next, we bring the hair forward. I'm gonna lean back a bit. Cause I can't lean as forward as I'd like. Cause of my back. Right now. Oh, two sections went together. So we have to re-separate them. There we go. Okay. Now that we have our braids, I can sit all the way back. And I can start braiding. When I said when we have I we have our braids, I meant we have our sections for our braids. And I can start braiding. Now granted, this is not one of those beautiful braids where there's no hair sticking out or anything like that, but it's what I can do, so it works. And this is the braid. So now we take the hair tie that we had on the brush and we go around once, twice, three times, four times, five times, and six times. And that's our braid, guys. We did it, we did a braid with back pain. So that's how we do it.
Okay, now we slide you out of there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.